Welcome to this tutorial on how to stream to Twitch TV using a Mac. Please see the description box for all the links mentioned in this tutorial. For basic setup, all it takes is to download two programs. The first one is OBS or Open Broadcaster Software. This is the main client that you will use to record or stream. OBS is free and make sure you download OBS multi-platform. The second one is WaveTap, which is also free. You need to go to the GitHub page, scroll down and click Run the Installer, and this should download. Once you've done this, you need to install each of these programs. And once you've done that, you need to open up OBS. Once you've opened OBS, uh, you'll see that you get a black screen here. Um, whatever's on there basically is what outputs onto your stream or recording. Now the way OBS works is they have scenes which are on the left hand side in the box here. So to add one you just click the plus button and call your scene whatever you like. Then on to the right of this is sources. Sources are things that you wish to output to your stream. This will mainly be game capture or window capture to even recording your entire desktop. There are other resources you can add, such as images for overlays and or apps and plugins for special features. I will go more into about adding overlays and features in my next video, but in this video I'll concentrate on basic capture and audio. Now open up WaveTap and just by clicking on it we'll activate it. You can see at the top of your bar here, you'll see the little icon, the circle with the wave. Ignore all these options here and just have it running. And search for Audio MIDI Setup. Once this appears, you'll have a few devices, maybe even headphones here, which you can see is the output and the input by default. And below is this what we need to do. I'll show you, you need to click on the plus button, choose multi output device. Once clicked, you will see that I have the headphones plugged in. And as well, you'd want to click on the wave tap as well. Next, search for sound. These are your max default sound settings. Also you need to note, you need to right click on the multi output device and then use this device for standard output. And as you can see on the output, you have the multi output device and on the input, which is your microphone, we have the headset. Okay, next we want to go into the OBS settings. So click the settings button. And on the left hand side, you can see a general tab. So select your desired language from that list. Below that is stream. And the stream type you want to select is streaming services. The service obviously being Twitch and this server somewhere preferably close by to your location and finally you have the stream key which you need to obtain from Twitch and I will show you how to do that now. What you need to do is uh, log into Twitch obviously if you don't have a Twitch account you will need to register. Uh, once you've logged in you need to click on your name Move down to dashboard. You have your settings here. What you need to click on now is stream key. And you can show your key there. Now your stream key is very important, so don't give it to anybody. Um, if anybody had access to your stream key, 
they could use that to broadcast to your channel. If your stream key has been compromised, you can always come back to this setting and regenerate another one. Okay, once you have your stream key in, you'll then need to go down to output. And your output mode should be simple. And here you can set a path to where you want your recordings to go to. And the video bit rates. Now this is important. This is going to be the quality of your stream. I have it set at 3000. If you're having any problems with uh, internet speeds, then it's advised to set that lower or even higher if um, if you have really good speeds. The audio bit rate doesn't matter too much. You can choose whatever you want for that. I have it at 192. Um, automatically reconnects two seconds and 20. These should be the defaults. It's audio. So sample rate should be 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, channel stereo and the next bit is the important one is your desktop audio device this is what um, what it wants to capture from your desktop so we have this now selected with wave tap and below there you can have a mic or auxiliary audio device this one is set to my headset you can also use other microphones that are listed on there. Next is video. OpenGL is the default renderer. I've got my base resolution set to my monitor here. As with the scaled resolution, this by default might be slightly lower. You can leave it at that, that's fine. Um, downscale filter we have by cubic sharpening scaling 16 samples and the F FPS values or common FPS values I have set to 30 uh, depends on your hardware some can go up to 60 now it's worth noting in the output as well that your video bit rates um, if you've got a really good and fast computer then that can affect your bit rate as well so you could even boost it up um, Finally is the advanced tab and the audio buffering time should be set to the default 1000 and the video here you can just leave as the defaults. Now click apply and then OK. What we'll do is we'll um, play something through YouTube. And as you can see, it's picking up the desktop audio, which you can adjust there. And if we switch to wave tap, which is on the input, if we go back to the output, sorry, and select wave tap, you can see it is picking it up still. We go back to multi output device. So OBS will pick it up and also you will be able to hear it. Test, 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 test. And the mic works. Okay, and finally, now you're ready to add some scenes and some sources to that scene. Um, so on the left hand side here, just click add, call it whatever you want, OK. And to add some sources, you just click the plus button. And you've got a list of options here. Now the first is image. This is handy for adding overlays or logos uh, to your stream. You've got video capture device, that would be your webcam. And you've got audio input capture, audio output capture. The display capture, that is going to be your entire desktop. 
which it captures here if you've got a dual monitor set up you can select which display to capture there and if you're gaming which you probably will be if you're using twitch you can have a game captured there uh, what that will do is just capture the game and not your desktop so if you want to hide your desktop you can use that um, you've got the text here so you can add various bits of text onto your stream like say for instance your Twitter address um, and if we go back up to window capture this is a really handy one so what you can do is it's basically any apps that you have open any windows um, you can add onto the stream a uh, good example of this is a simple timer app I downloaded from the App Store as you can see here and you can uh, easily drag it as goes with any sources that you have on the screen you can manipulate them just by clicking and dragging they're also ha order to layers here so if we move that down you will be able to see it because obviously this is on top so we'll move this back up and if you right click you've got some options to transform them flip them horizontally vertically or even fit to the screen now if we uh, put that up there say like that we'll open up the timer here and click start as you can see you've got a neat little timer then on your stream uh, there's many creative ways of um, adding stuff on there another one as well is browser source which I will cover more in another video uh, but that's basically it that's your setup now and you're ready to start streaming just click the start streaming button there or if you just want to record you can click this button here like so thank you for watching this tutorial if you wish to support and see more tutorials please like and subscribe and thanks for tuning in